Um, I like remote power and I like reroute power. Two, uh, infestation type one. On. Um, do I want to heal up Ron? Nah, let's do that next. That'll be the next goal. I will, however, steal your pry. Well, here's the thing is it like, like, oh, you took on a mission, so its failure rate goes up. I never use them. So should I be saving these things? I don't know. I'd rather have it and not want it. Whatever that phrase is, it's better to have it and not need it than to want it and not have it. Begin communication. Fix the food replicator on B-Wing. Just a hiccup in the com commu communicator, firing crazy something to the mo molecular assemblers. No problem now, though. Made myself up an amazing slice of lemon meringue. Befo little fellas are firing on... I don't know what Befo before, maybe. Little fellas are firing on all cylinders again. Doubt anybody will complain as fine as that pie. I'll fire a report out to Leyland when I get back up to engineering. Let them know their babies are all good. Jill, linking with theory index, gray goo, molecular assemblers, reference requires further investigation. Gather further log data about molecular assemblers from space stations or fuel depots. Okay. So that's what... Is Jill the computer? Is Jill like our little AI? Uh, so let's remote R2. Nice. So something bad, something good, something strange in your neighborhood. Uh, so we'll see what's in here. I know that there's only one infestation type. Okay, so there's a vent in here. That's what it was. That's what it's beef was about. Uh, which I have vents turned off by the way so don't we don't need to worry about that stuff uh, hmm. so what I want to do now I guess is drop a little motion d6 d9 d8 d7 <laughs> oh a1 that was a close one. Um, it was two close ones in a row where I was not paying attention because I was too busy. I don't flip. I don't even have an excuse. I just wasn't paying attention. I wasn't busy doing nothing. Hopefully, whatever's in. Hmm. I done goofed. Now here's the issue. I want whatever was in D8 to go into R4 so I can blow out the airlock. But now it's telling me like something weird's going on in both those things. So I feel like it's not telling me like there's a definite presence in there. I feel like yellow overrides whatever D9. Okay. So we know something is between R2 and D8. So that's fine. So what I need to do now...
is dock. A2. And we're going to blow A1. Okay, well that, that, I should have seen that coming. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. This is where that uh, radiation shield would have come in handy. Uh, and, all right, not a lot that I got out of this, but I left with my life. As some kind of saying, like any mission you walk away from is a successful mission, I think. Investigation types, don't know, don't know. Current ship, the justice. Um, what was I supposed to be looking at? Look, look at this gray, gray goo. Space stations and fuel depots. Quoting is existential risk theory, Grey Goo. Given assumed advances in nanotechnology, molecular assemblers pose def a definitive existential risk. Assemblers can create other assemblers, self replicate. It's easy to see how quickly rogue or intended processes could transform matter at an exponential rate. Follows that such a process could be detrimental to humans directly if we ourselves were deemed an acceptable source material, or indirectly if anything which we rely on was deemed an acceptable source of material. Okay, source material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, space stations and fuel depots. So fuel depot. These are all fuel depots. Okay, and space stations. So that's that's we're all right. We're all right. Mm -hmm. So I guess I want to go here. I've only got one propulsion, I guess. So there's two infestation types on here. I'll keep my head on a swivel. I'm on the lookout for Grey Goo. Go on. Beep, 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 beep. Have a ball. Remote. Uh. We're on remote R2, D8, motion. All right, so we've got something bad in R4, nothing bad in R3. So we're gonna. Do, 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 do. Have a little check out of this room. Six is good, so re re root R three. No, you gotta go like re 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 two R three. There we go. D six. Here's the thing: is I got so many generators, I don't need to be re rooting power. Okay, good. Now. Hmm. <laughs> what we want to do is move our mate Colin over here. And then we want to go navigate to R3. Generate a potential asteroid collision in two minutes. Okay. Uh, okay, so generator three. 
Oh, I wanted court. Wait, no. Hold on, hold on. Generator two. Interesting. So what's the deal? What's going on, man? Why can't... Is there another generator? Have I been up here? Have I been in D9? What the hell was that? Oh, God! Alright, so I haven't been in D9. Bad stuff in D9. Uh, okay, okay, okay. D6. So we want to... D9... Motion. So I wonder what the deal with D7 is then. D9... A3... Blow that thing out the air, air, air lock. Right. Hopefully that was the only bad thing in there. I never planned for the occurrence that there might be two of the bad things in this room. Gather. Hmm. So how am I supposed to power that D7 door? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to... Move. D6. We're going to have Colin come down here. Give him a little motion. Give him a little E ten. We'll wait for whatever is in R four to move to D ten. D ten A five A five. Wait for the ver the, the whatever that thing is to move. Six. Watch it, Corey. D ten. Now let's see. Is there anything interesting here? No, sirree. All right, whatever. D eleven. All right, home time, everybody. We got a little bit of scrap. Didn't find any information on gray goo, though. Uh, motion deteriorating. Infestation type two. Fuel Depot D. Um, no communications once again. A1. I always forget that I should bring uh, Corey out first because he's got the generator. stuff in two rooms. Let's move D6. See if whatever's in R3 moves out. Okay. D6. D9. Here's the other thing, I guess I should give motion to someone else as well, who's gonna like, like maybe Tommy, 
Oh, something's bong, bong, bonging around in there. D9. Um, like someone who can just stay here. D6. A2. There's something bong bong bonging around. It's making me scared. Okay, cool. Uh, gather all. Let's uh, dock. A3. Bring this further up. Oh, crap. Uh, remote. Oh, we're on R2. D9. Up here. Generator. Alright, we're doing alright. And then who's got interface? Oh, shit. That was not what I wanted to do. Is anyone hurt? No, it looks like they were further f <laughs> we were far enough from the room. A3 is what I wanted to do. Whoopsie daisy, that was almost a very close call. Interface. Ship scan. Survey. So there's a vent in there, scrap in there. Hmm. So let's go motion. D8. Shut that door. D8. A1. And then... Theoretically, I should be able to just... Oh, I broke the generator, so it's like I can't shut the room now. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get a wiggle on then, eh? Uh, D7. And we'll just have Corey do a quick look in there. All right, nothing in here. Home time, everybody. Everyone inside? Okay. Exit. Very good. Thank you so much for watching my playthrough of Duskers. Please hit subscribe as well as that bell button so you can see when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you all in a bit.